Good evening. It's season two, episode 23 of the KCCFC TV show. Guys, we are moving steps on this show. And tonight, we have a special one because we have an exclusive piece for a staff member that has served the club since 2001. That is 20 years as an employee of KCCFC, plus the highlights of last week's games. That's Police Football Club versus KCCFC. And the one that we played today, that is KCCFC versus Chetume Football Club and also next week's games. Guys, the Saturdays Uganda Premier League is hitting the, the final bend of the season. So we have everything on the show tonight. The reactions from the fans, from the players, from the gaffer, the interim manager, that is Mr. Molevi Ekwaso. Everything tonight is a plethora on the show, guys. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. You and I are walking this journey together. Now to start it off with everything KCCFC, this week the Stand Big Uganda Cup draws were held that is at Fufa House Mengo and definitely KCCFC was represented by yours truly. Remember the Uganda Cup this year's edition that is the 47th edition has eight teams remaining in the competition and uh, definitely that means that we're at the quarter final stage the same round that we were at last season before the pandemic happened and uh, KCCFC definitely qualified that is why I was part of these draws and uh, just to tell you um, how the draws went, KCCFC was pitted against Express Football Club. Both clubs are the record holders of this cup, that is the Stanbic Uganda Cup, because both clubs have 10 Uganda Cups, and uh, we are tied just with Express. We feel that this should be the season where we leap ahead or forward uh, past Express Football Club, and that means we have to beat the guys that we hold the same record, that is of 10 Uganda Cups, and uh, be able to progress to the semifinals, up until the finals, and possibly... Uh, win this trophy. So how the draws went, uh, just like I told you, uh, Express was pitted against KCCFC and uh, K uh, Express will hold um, the first leg. They will host that first leg that is at Wankulukuku and definitely KCCFC will host the second leg at the MT and Omondi Stadium. And uh, the other draws went as uh, Vipers will host SC Villa in the first leg and also SC Villa will uh, later host Vipers in the second leg. Um, Proline Football Club will play either Bull or Chegezi. Remember, Bull and Chegezi have not played that second leg. Um, Bull won the first leg, that was 2 1, so they have got to go to Kabale and play that second leg. So, whoever qualifies to the quarterfinals will be able to play Proline, and the first leg will be at the MTN Omondi Stadium where Proline will host their home games. And the final draw was Wakiso Giants will host Police Football Club in the first leg, and then later on, Police will host Wakiso Giants at the MTN Omondi Stadium. That's all about the Uganda Cup draws. We are hitting the final bend of the season because once we get past the quarter-final stage, that's if we qualify as KCCFC, next will be the semi-final and then the final. And just like I told you, we are the record holders of the Uganda Cup that was with 10 uh, tied with Express Football Club. So we've got to beat them to make sure that we have hope of getting the 11th this season. So immediately after the draws, we caught up with the gaffer, that is Mole Viekwaso, the interim manager of KCCFC, plus the players of KCCFC, and they gave their take on the draws. This is what happened when you caught up with them. Express as a team is a big team also. KCC is a big team. So there's no any doubt about this. We already faced each other for many times, KCC Express. So it's going to be a big task for us. Uh, we, need to, we, need to, we need to work hard because KCC right now, they are, they are on form. Uh, we are coming slowly by slowly and express themselves. They are playing well if you see all their games. So the draws are not, uh, we, are, we, are, we are not so, uh, uh, like we are not so uh, on pressure that we are facing express. They are on top of us and we right now, we are, we are having uh, sometimes draws, sometimes we lose, but we are still focused. We shall come on that day when we are facing Express with all our hearts and play as a team. That's all. Express Football Club um, is uh, a, a big team in the country. Um, they are also on form at the moment in the league. But uh, Uganda Cup is altogether a different tournament. Um, it is where, to be honest, it is where we are putting all our focus because uh, uh, for the league, um, uh, we are not 100%, we're not sure. But for this one, it's where we're putting all our emphasis 
and um, as players, it is what we want, and we want it so much, and we will make sure we we get the, the silverware. And to be the best, you need to to play against the best teams. So yeah, we are coming for this one all out. We we want uh, to progress to the next stage. We are lucky to get Express for this well, for another for another tie. Uh, it's, it's going to be a tight one. Uh, because it's, it's probably one of those informed teams that uh, is, is leading our, our tables. But then uh, Express would be an easy opponent in the next round if we played the way we play without having to, uh, to concentrate much on our defence but make sure that we are attacking them at all fronts. Uh, today we played a game that probably I would expect us to play against Express in, in, the, in the FA Cup, in, in, the, in the Kakungulu Cup. And then we also, it's the only cup that we, we, we could say that we have a chance at right now, uh, the only silverware. And so the concentration that we have for that should be at maximum. And I hope this, this, is, this is a good, a good luck ahead of that, that we've gotten a win from today's game. And we expect to, to maybe carry this on to the, to, to the Kakungulu Cup. Uh, I also think that... Uh, uh, some of the players that we have gotten coming back uh, will give us a mileage, they will give us uh, something to, to, to work around with. Because today, for example, we didn't have Anaku in the game. Probably he took a, a, enough rest that could, could make him come back. We have uh, Luanga coming back on and then we have Sam Senyonjo coming back on, which gives us a, a wealth of talent going forward. And so we shall have options against Express. I, I, I predict that we will be able to beat Express 3-1 in that game. Express in Uganda Cup on Suvira Tunas, Kuvachkopo Chatulina Katifenga, Fabagiziva Kesisi, Nava Sambi, Chichkopo Chat Sigaziza, Trino Okula Ganti, Nafere to Vira Mau, to Jajijam, Iran Suvirewa, Yotu Sobolo Genda, Yovane to Kole, Amaliri, Ovane to Jukube Muziro, Newa no to Sobolo Jijiramu and Unga to Juangula, Mungeri Yuna. A mass of Gunna to Gada de Uganda Cup. Tonge yon, di mungu nyo, era mmanyi, nti exi place, ugenda mujamu, echiru unji tusose uwe mayuni, ajia kujamu katiro, lao ndi yo kuviri, wejio kugwera, nze mmanyi, era nga nkakasa, tujia kumujamu, kumanga buo tunuramu, samu senyonjo, akumyeo, buo tunuramu hao, golo luli, anaku gwe tuimiri deko, nekate sawa zino, buo lawa nga samu senyonjo, akumyeo, Luanga na imu mulabi yenga wali kati olaba nga express but we gende uh, You guys just like you heard they have a lot of belief they have a lot of confidence uh, they think that KCCFC has an upper hand when it gets to matters regarding uh, the Uganda Cup that is the 47th edition for this for this year's Stanbic Uganda Cup so guys away from the Uganda Cup straight into the start times Uganda Premier League now this week police football club hosted KCCFC at the MTN Omondi Stadium, as in uh, the irony of this one, a uh, police hosting us at our own stadium. <laughs> and yes, they did host us because we occupied the away dressing rooms because they were the home side. Police Football Club plays uh, their home games at the MTN Omondi Stadium. So that's the reason why they were the host team for the day. So that game happened on Wednesday. And um, uh, the game ended nil-nil at the MTN Omondi Stadium, an interesting and a very entertaining fixture, both clubs playing very uh, explosive and, and, and blockbuster football, I should say. The positive in this one was uh, a couple of players were returning from injury uh, in Sam Senyonjo, a player that has, has spent almost a month without playing football for, the, for, for KCCFC. And also the other forward, the top scorer for KCCFC, that is in the start times Uganda Premier League, that is nine goals for Charles Luanga. He also returned in this one. And uh, that's, that's a positive in terms of team depth for KCCFC because as we hit the final bend of the season with about seven, six games to go, uh, you need these players back because you're going to be competing at all fronts. That is in the Uganda Premier League and also in the Uganda Cup. So these players returned for this game and also a couple of changes made by the gaffer on the day, Moses Aliro, coming in uh, to play in the right back role. And that meant that uh, the youngster, Juru Hassan, was rested. He did not make the 18 for the day. And also uh, Samuel Kato did not make the 18 for the day because he's been part of the 18, I think, about, about for, the, for the last four games. Uh, Samuel Kato at least has been making the final 18. He did not make the 18 on the day. So KCCFC asking questions early on in the game. You felt that Poloto Julius should have tapped in uh, that ball that came from Hubbard Achai, but it was too much of a pass. And then the ball flew past the frame of the goal. And then KCCFC kept on asking questions. 
and just at the end of the first half, you felt that Gift Ali should have given KCCFC uh, that lead because uh, going into the break because a wonderful cross came in from Habata Chai and then Gift Ali controlled quite well because he was playing in an advanced position in this one, uh, just in front of Dennis Iguma. Controlled well, but his shot uh, went off past the upright and that meant KCCFC going to the break at nil nil after recess uh, there were some changes made Chigozi uh, Samson was taken off and uh, Mugume Ashraf was brought on and also De Dennis Siguma was also substituted that was in second half we also had a couple of other players that were substituted in this one Poloto Julius making way for some other players like uh, Bright and Ukani who came on as substitutes KCCFC kept on asking questions. Peter Magambo had a couple of chances. Uh, also put up a man of the match performance in that one. Peter Magambo, because he was uh, awarded as the Pilsner man of the match in that game. And uh, he had a couple of chances, but those chances were not tucked away because he headed over the band. He also flew um, just past the, the shortstop of police football club, Tommy Kara, and also missed the header. So the game ending nil-nil, and uh, both teams sharing spoils. That is KCCFC and police and only getting a point in this one. So both clubs uh, got tied still at 38 points because as they got into this game, they had 37 points. And uh, that meant that whoever won would have gone to 40. So a draw meant that each team got one point. That is 38 points for both teams. So definitely, as usual, after the game, we caught up with the gaffer, that is Mole Viekwaso, alongside players of KCCFC to give their take after this game and their reactions. So take a look. We would have won this game with a big margin. But we failed to, to do that because what I'm seeing and what I'm realizing is that uh, their confidence is going down a bit. I'm happy that uh, the, the squad depth is coming back, but they are still nervous uh, about the incidents which have happened uh, previously. But uh, we hope to electrify that. We shall keep on pushing because transition is not easy. Uh, to take back the team where it belongs. Zamukama, so we saw Kuva, Kuva Mumaji, Kuva Demu, to try in the, to finish a mix and it's so good that you could say, Ned to Gina Kudayo on drawing board to, to demo to have mistakes that cause it, never knew it cause it, so we'll look at it as a good game with Daco. Just to change so come back to Chibeda Mutim, Chibeda Mutim, ne just fit to gain a Kudayo Gamma could drawing board to Ule. To 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 jail points. Nenga abavuka bona bona they are trying their level best to kulabanga to funa points. Nenga ngao mani to to swa ku ku gira shiba chigenda kuvira oncha kuvira shiba chigenda kuvira mumachi. Buchimu to chikola, buchimu to chikola, buchimu kocha chuga matu chikola. Ne ngao mani mo big teams chivira o ne mo Premier League mo chidaba chivira o cho ne tuge na sigalanga to be focused o kulabanga. We winning ways is a as soon as possible. The Gom Sabi, Chenso Vida, Empire Jetuluzi, Tujako Dio, who training is in Dako, Sovolo Kuberanga Teresa Evigane, Sovoleda, Okuberanga Teresa Vichimutanke, Okuberanga to Damo Angula matches. Eda Fengava Sambi, Neda, Ovedom Sambi over. Buli game owe ya gara kuji wangula Na ye mpida vulichimuchi chisovoka Kwa alu olu sroja no wangula Oba olu lala no luzinga Nela te tusa mitwe wansi Tugenda maso Tusoro kubela nga tuwenge lako Tusoro kubela nga tani kwa wangula MP Mpuri ya bulu nji kuba na bampa time Neso bulo kukulika varinga Neko china ampa ne trust Kubanga yali anteka mu planze ne mu system Nenga nangi ndi ready okwe wa yoku laba nga nkuma oku formu jina liko before mba sena baku rala. Puli la bulu nyo kubela nga nakuma oku team, nita niko training nga ne team, ne mpila jemba de nyingira muko, eda ansubila okuma oku bulu nji, itinesi yangi. Kutuwa tutende kumpila, oyigirizo mtu evi nitu mu training, na hii machi, machi eva iye, because buo veda buelu. So rusi, we have a technique in the Russo Kere walk to Kakumpira or Russin or Kutia. O Kutia Kuleta or Kutia Chichi in Twitch singular Dara or Bubi, Mugulambo Mount. Botan de Ko Kutia been to Vinji Vichu, and every other doko or Burunji, your Navikuvako, so Suvida, Kessit to Badet to Mani Denyo, Chisera and Gachino, Marimia Kena, Kativata and Sokwetia, which Katichiri to Lifenga, 
bakochi babo kubaga manide bibibira wa mpira biatu kako kumani site machi musambu liverpool machi wezit bibibira wa mpira ni hechi sera chitu uka wabo mugumu ngero traininga bulu unji achida mune chida wago that's it from the manager and the players the manager coming out to say that the players uh, need to up their confidence as we hit the final bend of the season they go to play for every game and, and, and try to make sure they, they attain maximum points, that is three points in the remaining games and, 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 and quite strong words from the gaffer plus also the players showing that they, all is not lost, that they still hope for the football club to attain something this season. Now guys, we are going to be going to a break. I told you that we have an exclusive piece on the show tonight, an employee of the club that has served for the last 20 years, that is from 2001, will be getting to know who this employee is and also what exactly he does at KCCA Football Club after this break. Now welcome back from that break. Just like I told you that we have an exclusive piece on the KCCFC TV show tonight. An employee of the football club that has served since 2001 and that means 20 years as a staff member of KCCA Football Club, seen several chairmen, seen several players leave the football club, go professional, and also the others leave and, and, and go around maybe in the Uganda Premier League in other clubs. Seen very many people come and go, but he's uh, been serving since 2001. We'll be getting to know what exactly he does uh, because he's the security manager at KCCA Football Club. And also just to give you a sneak peek of everything around his work, now in 2015, KCCFC attained that Astro Turf, what you guys call the artificial turf, uh, where KCCFC uh, plays its games. That is at the MTN Omondi Stadium. So this gentleman is in charge of making sure the turf is maintained, is, the turf is brushed, the turf is maintained in every kind of way that it should be according to international best practices. So we'll be getting to know from this man, his name is Semanda Juma a.k.a. Jemba Jemba. We'll be getting to know why he's called Jemba Jemba and a lot more of what he does at KCCFC. This is his story. Take a look. We have a lot of people who are in the Robert Muramure. We have a lot of people the stadium. We have a lot of people who are in the stadium. We have a lot of people who are in the stadium. We have a lot of people who are in the stadium. We have a lot of people who are in the stadium. Ela una kunorua lero, tugenda kutunulira, tugenda kwebu za kumwami, avunanyizi kwa kukumechisawe chinonga chiyonjo. Atuburile, bichibi akola, otiku makumutindo, nechibedawe bangelu, neno, 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 Mokolo wona tumu tu seko sebo je bali kale sebo amanya go sebo manya nze juma semanda ah bana bya mzanyo go manyinga jemba 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 wachi bakuita jemba jemba e chimpisa jemba jemba ndi mwagizi wa mani okusoka ah mani ya genda ne eto musambi omufilika kuna eri ki jemba 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 Jemba. Kula mfana gana nechi, njine Jemba Jemba hoyo. Shona. Kula mwini mwuchi wanu? Nze kula nga Grand Manager. Nze mwini 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 Tafu ni mazewo bangachi? Tafu ni miyake, ni miyaka mkaga. Mande ka utandike wetu tijemba? Chetaki sacho kuma tafu ni unga nyonjo, ngeliku mutindo? Vinji nyo. Nitu vinji nyo dala, era tafu ni uino kuberango, uino kuberango, uino kuberango, nevi sela vinji, yojiwa. Elinga mwana. Tafu ni uino jimente ininga, ukuba, Roji tukako kumacha, noji lambula, no manya kati chizi ya ina kati chitegeza e, e, Mi watu wa jebefu nye munge gambu lukuse Wabokwe ya ula kwe wajigatila 
obefunye kachi wala wona no so jigata e kirala nti katapwe no obaka pechi ne kisawe kino kizungu tuchi maintaining anga to sinzira ku budde ki bifite budde bwankuba kyetagisa okukolebwa brushing emirundi bwejiti olaba aweddewo amaziga mujje mu kifo yandi badda agenda nga tochi e eh, yogenda ku kisawe ne taina genda ko maintenance yayo enya ibitunga bina nti tekirizi bakulirwa ko kintu kya munyo tekirizi bakuyibwa ko kintu kya sukali to go into speed oyogedde ku kya rabba nyego nyinyo bantu ku kintu kya rabba mu carpet yenu rabba bwe bwo buntu obuduga bwo bwe tuteeka mu ne busolo okuyimiriza obusubyo bone buyimirira dala no lebya dala nti a a guno muddo ne nga si muddo rabba ya ya yamba ku carpet yenu kubanga eyimiride no berele bali no gamba a kisawe kya muddo ne nga si muddo Sawe cha plastic. Chitegezo isa yu chitaba mula banga cha kapeti. Chile itabuzibu chi? Aha. Obuzibu chi sinu kusoko. Choche nyinti chinu kusoko kufuna obuzibu. Nchi. Obudo wa debu ibu ndebu ebu chi. Ngo chila banti mudo gwe gwe njini guzani. Guzani de. Mizo kulanga gwe ba se. Chikula ganti hawati wali wola ba. So. Boteka wola ba. Noch brushing ha. Neyo brush yange. Come on, every media way which go more the rubber gooey and to a good sign or you see a langa gooey media way which so we love Baba Guanga when Cunion your day, but now we have a cup of which Nature Sola Cover and Chiguani do Colachi, a Rachiba no Buzibu, Banova to sliding a chivo chair. So you maintain and say yes, Oka. Maintaining the soca or Jimaz to only the maintaining the Oko with the Jamba. Toi na kukiriza, embwa, pusi, ni ingato eza sukulu, ingato ze tuite eze chuma, okudia kukuno. Juki la, ebi ntuwe tuko sawa nseri ingato chita andika, tuseko kapitio nilaba wacho, muli mune kumainja. Chi, osoro kudila nori nyanyi nyinyo voti, nyo chikusi za voti, eri nyo liri neri tuka kujinja ni wajawe chituli. There's a cut in the Nakugami town called Kuyuko Kuvao, near for a cut. Embua, ne kapa, ne vitivion. Rachi and water rejikis are called a kapa. Abakungwa, Baba Genokwe and Banadala Pussy. A so called Takula of Watch. A take care of Vive, then you'll invite your Mabo Vike. Catch it, Jukilabuno, to what water the overlabber. No more dog of a good women, a Jacquagaloque and be sour, a Jacquacula waiting Yarazayo, Zidi, Zijaku Jao boy over now. Omkurunga Wambua, boy Jacocono Nayako sitch in Chichima in Injala. White a watch, a scab watch, a scab watch, or Kumariza watching a nanus in a young if in a cart. I have a culture to wait a gila called Dara. Let's take a guess at Jimba. Walu wane songenda la jenja gala kubala gako nchi echisawe chino chili kumotindo. Luwachi chili kumotindo chai siwe abakungu wakubwa mkapu na FIFA. Bachi kebela elani chikaka sivu anti chisoloko kuchia zempi aja kafu na eja FIFA. Luwachi nchi echisawe chino chila giruwa okubo mpila bote. Nekugwa wansi emirundi ejigenda muetano. Gajiba unsinga wejitio. Echikaka santi echisawe chino. Bechiga ananti echisawe kumpila nga guno kuga nyofugwa wansi. Oku kubawa nsinga wegu tiye chitegeze chisawe safe state ukiride kusambu wako mpila wa dogu wa ligi. Zensongezo. Nsonge yoku satu? Nsonge yoku satu. Tetueta aga ko chewing gum. Chewing gum? Yes. Mm. Chewing gum oyo. Mutu wa janga kagaya ya wati abu gaya. Mm. Waka sula wati. Omo wali nye wachi, nali nye walala, nali nye walala, nali nye walala. Minundi nga mkaga paka likana guwa kongato. Wagenda o ino kusala o kukomo la o kubanga chungamu hakuata wati labo yonu obo oyo obo na obo kuata wamu. Omokulu atinyo nyo denisonga zonera ni muziraba. Habari na taf, obe chisawe cha kapeti. Tupa staba mugendelele. Ila mkuzesi nisonga zonu omokulu za atu gambi. Ama ze kuchisawe wani miaka kumineta anu. Ila nga alawi ili chisawe chine miaka jisoba mkaga. Nika na mbuza hivi, mbuza hivi ya ngabi vili, zeni tufundi kile. Mkulu jemba, 
nga mfundikira ebanga lyo maze wana ku kisawe kino mupira chigu wali olabi ne kukunyumira mupira we nalinda bi wano ga sundown KCCFC versus Mamelo de Sundowns piro ko gwatu nyumira nyo kubanga twali tujja mu munene amaziga gali wano tusajja ngala batumukute wabi tumujamo chintu HSC tizaba dama nyi de miyaka ne miyako kuwangula buli mwaka buli mwaka buli mwaka Katima kama jamu ngawa lai taka tegera. Sawa chite kate kaburu unji nye wa sambi tawari kwe kwa saku. Na chite kate kani nchi uo miyaburi umu ya janaga mba chitofu. Ama mula nga kwenye kubila bantwa baina chisawe nga chino. Oba na atabi nina nga majane bako sisa chino. Tutu ukirizevi ya chisawe biva tulagiro biko chikoli lako. Ebi sawe bi singo singana maintenance tetu ukiride. So bonobo tukiriza maintenance ya chisawe. Ogila chiuwa nga za chisawe cha amule embe. Kumanga cha chisawe chima nyinyi, budebo yinkuba, budebo omu sana. Kugamba chisawe cha amule embe. Kesi seko ze chinele nyo kumbe zao ni federation. Batu sindi so kusoma. Misomo jona federation ya jirese. Kesi sine jisasulira. Sida nyo zinzangi zeta demo. Kwa ya ba demo kuru juma sema anda. Akona kumentene nsi ya chisawe cha emu chenyo mondi stadi ya mwano. Eero gogo. Nga tuwe nsonga ezi, ezi mulete la. Opa za gobe lilo kume chisawe chino. Mweba nyumi vedana. Nzize wa Moses magero mu studio. So top star from Mr. Jemba Jemba. Most of us call him Jemba Jemba the football club guys. But his real name is Sema anda Juma. He's the security manager in charge of the security of that stadium. Called the MTN Omondi Stadium. So... Uh, we, we are really safe, we are really guarded uh, by this man and uh, he makes sure that all the deployments around the stadium are done quite well but he also has other duties he does at the football club just like I told you that he's in charge of the maintenance of that AstroTurf what most of you call the artificial grass or the artificial turf of KCCFC uh, you've seen that guy who sometimes when he trains at, at MTN Omondi Stadium the guy who drives that small car or a small tractor as most of you call it around the stadium to make sure the water that has filled or that has uh, invaded the stadium is pushed out. So top class staff from Mr. Jemba Jemba and we really appreciate your kind of work. We'll be having more staff members uh, and, and people that are around this football club uh, give their stories about exactly what they do for how long they have done it and the importance of their work. So guys, um, we'll take you back to what happened last week. We had uh, Mr. Robert Mulamuli, a person that has also stood in here before to host the KCCFC TV show. And uh, this time he did it in the market. Uh, last week he was in Nakawa market and we still have uh, an extension of everything that happened in Nakawa market where he was asking fans different questions and also fans answering, giving various answers. And uh, let's see if the fans now have some correct answers in terms of everything that wa was asked by Mr. Robert Mulamle. So top staff from everyone that was behind uh, the scenes to make sure all this happened at the Nakawa market. So in case you want to know KCCFC away from the studio, that is in terms of KCCFC TV show, have a look at everything that happened in Nakawa market. Joseph. <laughs> Uh, we have a big Kumiao, a different executive director, or Murunji, or Mongari Mumbia Zaba Vuka. Never get on with an evil authority. Yes, Negara Kubuza, a bang of the cases of Vamuchenda. Timuchi, your cases, Jason Zoku, and your Jason Zoku Savula Savula, where you got a case of our Sabus. To see the Kubon Rezano, Timuya. Express. Express to Bastabula Bustabus. Tobacova Nyobu, Tobasang, and whatever Sobola. Any one cover day, but took a kitchen and never got to know Kosef Kosefu, never to joke up my neighbor on the boat. I will go to our buffet to our Mariza. Sure. Eh. Nagarango was a Chibuzo Chimu, who angry your Mujos. Musambi just looks a mean period, means season in a chair. Mujos were good one. O Musambio, Yanjava de Anaku. Oxamim period, means season in a chair. Mupira jenda bi, e minji jina kala bako. 
bo 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 Administrative work, we are back up with Subuzi, Kubiba Sumbua, Masanyala, Mazi, Buyonjo, Wevit. But what about the Kumamotino? Timo Jogi the bank. Mwakanga Gum. Charles Ranga. Charles Ranga. Kato. Kato. Kezironi. Kezironi. Mm. Kezironi and by number. Sujimani will launch. Mummani. 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 Kankwa <laughs> Information you captain. Season yen, wabaye yali captain. Timo Sawanyi, msajja wange. Mujukide. Eh, msajja wango. Alhamdulillah. Tuye baza nyo KCCA okusembeza club mu basubuzi ne mu katale okutwaliza awamu. Mu mbera yo kunonyo obwagizi no kutunda club mu bantu, mu tundu bya nande badde nsaba. Eberenga waberewo and take a take. Executive Director and Patroni wa for work KCC. Tuku Saba, Ofune Oru Naku, O Take It, Take It, Aba Suzu and Aba Katarik and Nakawa. Or it took a Sami Womu Pirao, Basim Bidi, Abog Zibawi. Nayoru Nakurumu, Tijakuyamba Nyo, Tijakuyamba Nyo, Kirabu Yafe, Okujitunda, Mova Suzu Zibakarik and Nakawa. Negat concluding it to the Jolly Seven Moses, Magero Mwanje. Obaka tubu tu siza sebo chini chini mochi kuvie utubie box to boxi mwa ba nyumba dera ba na ange starta yimuzi burita mu mti ani mwa ba nyumba dera mwenye 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 magero mwanje tuara bantu maso sebo. Now welcome back from that break, the final segment of the show, talking everything the start times Uganda Premier League because the games are coming in very quick and uh, because we're hitting the final bend of the season but first of all we had a game this evening uh kccfc playing chetume football club at the mtn omondi stadium chetume football club i told you last week on the show that has never won or has never even thought of winning a game at, against kccf football club so we have everything that unfolded at the mtn omondi stadium this evening in terms of the highlights and also uh the reactions from the players and the coach but first here are the highlights of KCCFC versus Chetume Football Club at the MTN Omondi Stadium. Charles Ruanga, yomu kubazanya basuba doko maokuru da timi ya KCCFC. Na yenga atandiki deku bench onako orwalele. Yomu kubakurembe daba teba timu eno ya KCCFC. Nga teba ina na mutebi Brian Ahebwa. Eya sumoro kubanga teba go zali musambi. Bira jali mitono nye jata andika. Nafuno bufune. Ze Solomon Saka. Ne Beka Chigongo kutu sako mpira go naku orwalele. KCCFC. Wanero gogonga ba tukane timu eno Eya Chetume FC Magambo Peter Negujo kusanga Charles Rukwa go captain wa timu eno Eya Kessis FC Yasinga clean sheets Chali mupira gona ku Orwalero 
Nenga Shrafu Mandera ya inakuloda duwatha Shrafu Mugume na gojo kutuke na wagulo kusanga Moses Aliro. Na kuteka une bakutome na lugena bugenzi wabweru. Julius Lulompira kutome na lugena bugenzi wabweru kuloda tumia chetu mefusi da chikatole kila kumina muenda. Moses Aliro abadaba ye mworu babu wano na yumpira na kuteka momu tume na lugena bugenzi wabweru. Bade close nungi nyo wano. Kudizewa wano Samson Sigozi ya kubika. Pass wano kalonji nyo alio. Na wata wano na good defending. Kukubila ngarasa sima chetume football club. Chetume SFC. Ya ufunda wanya wanya za uchanga ba transferingo mudo kuchuwe mpe. Etanga ya imu kubizibu coach mwani biyo kwa swaino kubila nga nukele dagala. Otherwise wajia kufile nyaba sabibanyo kutimwe ni ya kwa football club. Singana hata kufinyesu. Pare sompira muamvu na kuingira katimba. Kasi sefsi. Kasi sefsi tebe gol Julius Poroto. Julius Poroto tume dompira na kuingira katimba kuwa timi ya kasi sefsi gole ya mweso kampira gona ku Oluwarero. Mwelebio kwa saizo kubanga kakanye kuku pressure. Dachi kabili mubiri yorede kasi saizo vedo kubanga tompira. Gunye nyaka timba, Abu Beka gift ali, biyo mpira muavre guja. Watyo bisho porumu mpira tesubote kutomira guvao. Julius Poroto, natomira mpira na guye ingira katimba. Muzuro, kasi sefsi. Abade fene, abidi de, elabu watu tesubote kumira ngalete chifundu. Kasi yefu wuklapu. Neguja, negusang sefas kambugo, Nicholas. Kasozi, negutu kenu wa bloku sanga Richard, wanyanda, cross in a jar, negutu kenu wa bwero. Kona, dia timi ya chetu mefusi. Bata nisokulaka signs na zeo, zoku zukuka. Hoja chetu merimu tulo. Hiba kuludi zewa na matofo, atawa sema ina sabade nungi nyo, pita magawana wa umu bidi wano. Hoja chetu mefunye kona. Kona Ezra Bidaya Kasi si pressure jetade kutimu ya chetume Yandifuna gole yoku video kusanga Abati achai Boto genzo genzo wabweru Ya bagiza kuwa ukiri kiri wano Naiti vigwe denga Abati achai Mpia takuwa seza vulu unji nyo Atakiza kula anga Ringe za go kipa uwele Takuwa seza vulu unji nyo Apide mune takao Takana ya tuogela kutuogela kuraba Afumu hau kapeti Iguma Kesi SFC Kujio kusanga Samse Nyonjo Kugenze Bugenzi Wabweru Samse Nyonjo Buwati ompira wakubi Kugenze Bugenzi Wabweru Juki na yomu kubazanyi Aba chasi nzo kule ngeda katimba Kurudati minafo ba Kesi SFC Yomu kubana bo inzo kubango tunorira what a wonderful pinpoint pass. Okuwe wa Dennis Iguma. Good header. Okuwa na tewa Samson Chigozi. Vune. Moses Aliro. Na hii na yo goal. Tali uoro alero wa vune. Habati achaya. Na yo goal. Mwari muguno guwa alero. Moses Aliro. Redi wali azanyo kurudaro. Watimi na faba. Kesis of C. Ashura mfumugumi. Na hii na gole mu. Atenga Julia Sporot. Ya kubie gole yoko vili mu season. Pina goba kubie. Ashura mfumugumi. Nganonya Samson Andrew Chigozi. Mpira kuhisa ubu yisi na kukenda bugenzi wabweru. Wardrop yu programu joku vanga tila vika kwa kwa screen zone na koro alero. Nga programu da bench. Alimu baka eno jie toligira. Boti mpira ibagu zake wa gokipa. Derek. Derek. Kataba mjoko mpira guze. Poroto na kubana kukenda bugenzi wabweru. Derek uwele abada kwa zensobi ikuluda timina faba. Chetu mefsi. Na yon pira Pagu mudizanga tekuli yari ko Samu senyonjo na duka na agendera ko Mwati yon pira Poroto na kubawa wero Songa za inexperience Zaziba demu motion wano Tafunyebu hakamu ujua sporto Yanila so kufira nga ato mpira wa gulipoti nga Kasozi Ugenzi wa ugenzi wa wero Nicholas Kasozi Pira wa kubi ugenzi wa ugenzi wa wero Aidi ya bade nungi nyo. Na mpira ugenzi mgenzi wa buwe. Abadamu kubye kombola. Sina kubade kutajit. Kufate mnungi nyo ni kwa sikusa da guadamanyi manji nyo. Na ye kubade white.
Ugwa bweguti kesi sege na mchifocha ye chokuna. No one of why Bobera Anna Mukamu, the Jetum, your Bratistas, I know one of Macumiana, Piragose, Jetome, shot Negan of Ganswell. Work to Piragans of Ganswabero, Raymond Warugambon, Piraguaku, and a Gole Musafako, Kadie, Susan and Mustatem, Zuganda Premier Ridge. No Piraguaku against of Ganswabero. Yeah, we'll get up to the Bright Stars. We come here to what team we know. Simon Clem, we'll get up to Sayo, we're not called Wild. Had a chance, name of Vocal Felix Ocot. Pirak to make demo about the demo, a beginner and a good up against your way. Gift Ali, Pirak coming again up against your way. Gift Ali Munji Nomo, Muxumula Maso. Negro work with your guns up against your way. Gift Abu Becker Ali. Yeah, and not a Jaron Zeo Mukon Pira has all about the screen. You got Yasanuka TV Musanasan Negoja Sam Senyonjo Shot What you're playing a queen Gira Katimba Sam Senyonjo Akubia Koreo Mukage Season Sam Senyonjo Atebe de Timia Cassis FC Koreo Kubiri Mupira Ate Koreo Mukaga Aya Season Pere Zero Cassis FC What a beauty Oh my my wonderful goal from this youngster Samson Yonjo. I will tell you what you are under 20. Tani wanna buy the Pampira Guadal Mujinho. Wearing a Sadiku goal line. And people won't in Yonji de Lawano. Goal Amakura. Here is Samson Yonjo. Billy Kessif World Club. Zero Chetme FC. Hassan Musana, Hassan Musana. Na salomu tuwe na setting kana kujok sangab. Julius a bright yano kani gugenzo gugenzo wabuero. Hati ya kuisi ya chasini ni nyonya na nipe yano kani aga nyoka kubera ngati. Airi zinga abate omusambi chasini ni nyonya na nipe yano kani aga nyoka kubera ngati. Airi zinga abate omusambi chasini ni nyonya na nipe yano kani aga nyoka kubera ngati. Airi zinga abate omusambi chasini ni nyonya Singa goal ya kusatu. Brati anukani abate na obude ya kaya ingizibwa. So in case you missed it, those were the highlights of everything that unfolded this evening at the MTN Omondi Stadium. And now we have the reactions from the gaffer, Mr. Mole Biekwaso, after this game. Now you've got to listen to what exactly he had to say. Take a look. Today we've tried to play well. Um, and we've won. But... That wasn't uh, the pick which uh, I'm still waiting for. Uh, we create a lot of chances, but we don't take them away. So it brings problems into our build up, our confidence. And uh, I think today God has really been with us uh, that we, we missed many, but we, we, we try to score. Uh, we still have uh, our games to play, as long as uh, we don't lose them, as long as we keep on winning, we shall pave that way and uh, our chances will be clear, but, uh, but once we, we keep on losing, we won't have any chance of winning it. And first half, the, the, the briefing which I made after the end of first half, I really quarreled so much with him, I wanted him to change, to show character. Uh, I don't know why he was playing like that. He was so calm. He, he wasn't a threat to the opponents. But I think he had my voice clearly and uh, he changed. He changed and he scored a wonderful goal. If we keep on winning, football is a funny game. If we keep on winning, no one is sure that others won't lose. So we have to win the remaining games to see what will happen in future. But the most important thing which I want this team to, to be or to play we want the team to play well. We want the team to play attacking football. We want the team to be pressing so much because these are the things uh, which are practiced on the, on the international level. So if we happen to get a chance of being there, I think our team won't lack anything. So that's why you see we keep on pressing so much. We want them to get used to that because that is the modern trend of, of the game. But um, unfortunately, sometimes it does not work with uh, 
it does not work well because we miss a lot of chances and uh, uh, prayer, uh, sorry, pressure mounts on players and we don't really achieve what we want. Top stuff from Mr. Mole Viekwaso showing, um, I mean, a lot of belief and confidence in the players and they've got to just do exactly that for each and every game to try and make sure they grind out games, especially in the league as we the final bend of the season because we've got now six games to play for in the Star Times Uganda Premier League, that is for the 2020-2021 season. Now, we are not yet done with everything in terms of the Star Times Uganda Premier League because next week we'll be playing game day 25 and game day 26 of the Star Times Uganda Premier League. And this will be on Wednesday. Uh, KCCFC will visit UPDA Football Club uh, that is in Bombo. And um, UPDF definitely will be hosting KCCFC. Those who remember the first leg or in the first round, uh, in the start times, Uganda Premier League, KCCFC won this game 6-1. The game happened at the MTN Omondi Stadium. And just to give you everything in terms of head-to-head, -head, uh, UPDA Football Club and KCCFC, uh, they've played three matches, um, that is, in terms of head-to-head. -head. And in, this, in the last three matches played between these two clubs, uh, KCCFC has won twice, while UPDF has not won against KCCFC in the last three uh, league games. And then the draws are one each. That is, uh, both clubs have shared spoils once. And then goals for uh, these clubs, UPDF has two, and KCCFC has nine goals in the last three games played. And then the points, UPDF has one point. That is from the, the draw they got against KCCFC. Well, KCCFC has seven points. That is two wins and one draw. And now in terms of everything about this game, that is who is back and also how um, the past fixtures have been like in... Uh, on the 5th of March 2021, KCCFC won the game 6 1. That game happened at the MTN Omondi Stadium. And if you remember that one, it was a, a very entertaining fixture uh, for, the, for the people that at least happened to have come down to the MTN Omondi Stadium. And then we'll take you back to 2018 when UPDF was still in the league. Uh, that game was won by KCCFC 2 0. And that game happened on the 9th of April 2018. Then in 2017, uh, on the 6th of September, uh, UPDF and KCCFC shared spoils that game ending 1-1 one, one. and uh, that game uh, was hosted by UPDF Football Club in Bombo. So that, that is in terms of everything of how games have been uh, between uh, both of these clubs. In terms of who is, who is back and who is not, uh, we expect to have a couple of players that have not been playing, especially in the games this week. Uh, Drew Hassan, Kato Samuel. Uh, it's not that they, are in, they were injured. Uh, they just didn't make the 18 because uh, the depth is, is getting in now because we have uh, forward players that are getting back in the squad. I told you how last week Mr. Luanga Charles and uh, uh, Sam Senyonju were able to return uh, to the squad. So I think that is in everything in terms of uh, KCCFC and UPDF football club. So on Saturday, we'll still be back in the Star Times Uganda Premier League because this time we'll be playing a football club in the names of Busoga United. And that game will happen at the MTN Omondi Stadium. And those remember the in the first round, KCCFC won 4-0. Uh, that game was away against Busoga United. Uh, Sadat Anaku coming up to score in this one. We had also goals coming in from Mr. Charles Tuanga, who came off the bench to score. And that game was at the FUFA Technical Center in Jeru. So um, just also to give you the head-to-head uh, the in terms of everything with KCCFC and Busoga United. In the last eight games played between both of these clubs, uh, Busoga United and KCCFC, KCC has won six games, while Busoga United has not won a game. These are sides that do not know how to win against KCCFC, just like the, the clubs we played last, um, last week. So uh, that was Police and Che to me. And then the draws uh, to each, that is KCCFC and Busoga United, have shared spoils twice in the last eight games. And then KCC has scored 16 goals in the last eight games played against Busoga United, while Busoga United has only scored three goals in the last eight games played against KCC a Football Club. And KCCFC has collected 20 points in the last eight games played against Busoga United, while Busoga United has collected only two points from the two draws they have against KCC A. Football club. And now, to give you some of the matches that both of these clubs have played in the past, I told you this season, in the first round, uh, KCCFC won 4-0 at the FUFA Technical Center against Busoga United. 
And then last season, uh, both of these clubs had to play that was in May before the pandemic happened and that game was cancelled, so the game wasn't played. But earlier on in the season, on 3rd September 2019, that is for the 2019-2020 season, KCC won away. That game happened at Fufa Technical Center and it ended 1-0. Uh, a wonderful free kick squad by Chiza Mustafa, who has uh, moved on now, is playing in, in, in the MLS League, that is the Major League Soccer and uh, playing for a club called Montreal Impact in Canada. So uh, that game happened last season. And then uh, in, on the 7th of March 2019, uh, KCCFC won 2-0 against Busoga United. That was for the 2018-2019 season. So, and then in 2018, that was on the 2nd of October, KCC sharing spoils with Busoga United 0-0 at the MTN Omondi Stadium. And then still on the 30th of March 2018, that season of 2018-2019, uh, we had Busoga United lose 1-0 to KCCFC away in Jinja. And then finally, 2017, that was 20th December, KCC winning that one 2-1 against Busoga United. So everything in terms of, of, of that game is, is swung in KCCFC's favor because I've told you both sides that will be playing KCCFC next week, that is UPDA Football Club, on Wednesday, and then Busoga United on Saturday do not know how to win against KCCFC because in terms of head-to-head, -head, we've seen that KCCFC has not lost to these teams in the Uganda Premier League. So we have the reactions. In terms of everything, the start times Uganda Premier League, game day 25 and game day 26 that will be happening next week, we have the reactions from the players ahead of next week's games, what exactly they expect, and also how they hope to encounter these teams, UPDA Football Club, on Wednesday and Busoga United on Saturday. Both sides do not know how to win against KCCFC. So here are the players giving their take. Have a look. Um, as players, as a team, we, we want to win every game. That has always been um, the motivation. We want to win all the games. Unfortunately, sometimes you lose certain games, you lose points. But um, this one, again, we're going for the same goal. We want to win. We want to win all the remaining games. Uh, and I feel in this transition, um, the team has been improving. Now, uh, uh, we, we might have lost a few games here and there, but uh, the confidence is coming back. We're starting to believe in ourselves that we can actually play. Uh, you saw it in the last game, or, uh, just unfortunate. We, we could have taken maximum points home. Nia tuge na kujanga tuli focus tuge na kuloza kumpira guwede kwa go tuwa tuguma so tuge na kuloza kuchetu meje tuzako so bulo kulaba anga tukumao kuba last time first round tuwa jikuba tuge na kujane yo confidence kulaba anga tudamune yo kuwini ngogo mpira mpira ja wike ja tuge na jete geke la bulu nji nyo kukube la anga tuso bulo kujayo Ovonero, wakufuna ovonero, wazo game zebiri, ezawi kijaja zetuli na yo, sawolo kubera ngatonge rako kuvonero wa febo tuli. Yeah, if you see the league right now, we are have we are having uh, fixed games now. We are playing uh, every th every three days we have game, and it's very hard for us. But uh, and also we are having problem when we are playing away games like such such a, such pitch like like in Bombo. It's not easy for us because we've been there playing Villa. And it wasn't good for us, but we lost because of the pitch. But these remaining games, uh, the coach is not putting us on pressure. He's, he's trying to tell us to play. He's trying to tell us to play. So these remaining games, hopefully, uh, we, can, we, can, we can win uh, some of the games. We can win. If you see this, the, it's not easy, of course, because this, some, of, some of the teams we are going, we are going to face, they are in rele relegation zone. So we have to... We just have to keep on working hard. Without pressure, we can win these remaining games. About the, the next game uh, against uh, UPDF in Bombo, uh, they are um, a bogey side, they are stubborn. We won against them at home, but uh, this one is going to be a new game. We will come for the win again. However, the, the pitch is not uh, that uh, favorable for us, but that is no excuse. Uh, we are Ugandans, we played um, in such pitches before. So yeah, we, we are focusing to win all our remaining games. So those are the players of KCCFC giving their take ahead of next week's games, oozing confidence 
and showing that they've got to play and saying that the situation in which the club is in right now, as in where the club is able to uh, drop points, things that are not very familiar with the football club, it happens, guys. It happens in football. And also uh, you've had the manager and also uh, the players before on this show giving uh, their opinion, saying that this has happened before with football clubs that probably could even be better than KCCFC out there uh, in, 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 in bigger leagues. So it's a situation that the club will uh, overcome and, and, and it will get back to winning ways. So guys, we also caught up with the fans after today's game. That is KCCFC versus Chetume. They gave their take on uh, how they saw everything about that game. And also they gave their opinion and predictions and expectations ahead of next week's games against UPDA Football Club on Wednesday and Busoga United at the MTN Omondi Stadium on Saturday. That is next week. So here are the fans giving their take. Uh, I've liked today's game. We played uh, quite well. Uh, yes, that, we, uh, that were notable today in the way we played in our midfield. And uh, I think it was key that we had uh, Gigi playing in that defensive role, very, def uh, very decisive. And uh, we were able to, to get sa some good uh, plays going forward. I think we also did some, some changes going forward and our transitions are, were, were very well, very well uh, taken, very decisive in the final third. Uh, we had some balances in, in, in play, you could see some shifts in play on uh, where, where Poloto was going and where Ashraf was as well and, and, and working out. Uh, the return of Sam also is a key factor, probably gave us a good uh, uh, depth going forward. And uh, I think we, we maintained the balance on the defense uh, with Guma coming there with a lot of experience and then with Aliro pro uh, providing some very shifts in play in, in, in the right back position. And so the game was so good for me. I, I enjoyed some of the plays, especially in the second half. Uh, we were decisive with the way we wanted to play and then we got the, 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 the final touches very, uh, quite well. In the, in the, we could have actually won the game 3 or 4, or four, four nil. Okay. Mm. Omupira gwa lero gwe tuzanye ne chetume nabade nsubira ntwinzo mukwa tagolo nga 5 nenga bo manyi team ezirwano butasalwako na yegeza ko kuteka wembera so gwe tubanga tumufunye ko point 3 tumukubye wo mwandawe tusobolo genda ne chinga bo tunula mu fe twabade tulowoza nti rako na yena e abada ino kwerwa nako na nateka wo mubiri so the biggest challenge in the, in the remaining games will be against Busoga at home. Uh, UPDF away is a, is a sure win for us. Uh, they started very well the league, but then they, they didn't get their, 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 ground, their, their ground running in the last uh, few games. Their form is not that good, and we can be, we can be expectant of a good win against uh, UPDF in Bombo. But surely we should we should register a win again against uh, Busoga. The challenge is that they are a doggy side. Busoga cannot give you. You are not sure of what we'll expect out of them. But uh, we expect the very best. Uh, if, for example, we we can put a, a shift against UPDF away, I, I also I, I also predict that we'll win against UPDF 2-0, and then against Busoga at home 2-0 as well. Yep. Thank you. Nze nsuvira umpira kwa fugendo kuza kwa wiki ya ogwa yu pdf nga tuli kwa we Well ntebi yebisawe yebite lotu sumbu wa muko na dala awasambi bafe Na yenze manyi nga timu ya KCC ezo timu nga zi yu pdf tute roku zikuba Eranze nchi manyi tugenda kuwanguru umpira kwa yu pdf nga tugenze bombo wiki ya Umpira yu pdf nsuvira ojijia kopo intesa tuolue nso nganti tujisinze experience Ya denga ya liye kula bulunji at first na ekati nsubiranga. Na fikati. Tugenda tuwete rezira tuja jija kwa point sato. Busoga United of course wano. Sisubiranti ya na jane sovolo tuku vira ho. Tuja jiwa anguli rao. Ra point sato tuja, tuja zitu wa alia ho. Busoga United. Busoga ajawano. Agumateka busoga shuwa wini tuja kumukuba. 
tuino kumuja kubo ni satu. Kubaka tetu, tetu echo ntibusuka. Azi wano na atu kubira omu pira. Techisoboka na kusoboka. Bantu nga babaka wano kukusiga la muli. Nga atefe baka baka waliji. Kuviyabu. Shuwa diru tuino kuba. Busoga wanonga ze waka erugogo. Well guys, those are the fans of KCCFC giving their take from uh, just that game that we played this evening, KCCFC vs Chetume, and also their expectations and predictions ahead of next week's games against UPDA Football Club and Busoga United Football Club. And that wraps up the show tonight, guys, because on the show tonight, I told you we had an exclusive piece of a staff member, an employee that has served the club since 2001. That is 20 years serving as a staff member, and he told you how everything uh, is involved uh, in terms of everything he does. That is at the football club, top staff, my guy, that is Mr. Jemba Jemba. Uh, most of you call him that, but his real name is Juma Semanda. We gave you the highlights from last week's games and also the build-up ahead of next week's Star Times Uganda Premier League games. And also we told you who we shall be facing in the quarterfinals of the Stanbic Uganda Cup, the 47th edition. That is this year's edition. Guys, it doesn't get any better on the KCFC TV show. And that is it for tonight. We'll be back next week with season two, episode 24. And that is the highlights and everything that will have happened in next week. Guys, my name is Magero Moses Mwanje. And I want to wish you a good night.